Jesus certainly was not someone who would rank people. Who's the best? Who's the least? In fact, he warned that God's ideas of best and worst do not reflect the human understanding or human rankings. Today we celebrate two figures whom every Christian ranks high, St. Peter and St. Paul. And one could hardly find two individuals with greater differences. Yet what they had in common has brought millions upon millions to the Catholic faith and all its promises. Let's look at St. Peter first. He eagerly followed Jesus when he later claimed not even knowing him. But Peter eventually proves his love. However, so completely that Jesus does not replace him as head of the church. And unlike Peter, Paul starts out as a Christian hater, rounding up Jesus' followers for persecution and martyrdom. And while Paul is journeying on his way to Damascus to do that, he experiences a life-changing apparition of Jesus. Paul's conversion is instant and spectacular. His Christian vocation then leads us to wonder if our church could even have survived without Paul's zeal in spreading the teachings of Jesus. Today, we need to ask ourselves, how are we prominent figures in the history of our church? We know that we are not Mother Teresa or St. Francis of Assisi. We're neither Peter nor Paul. But we are Christian believers and Christian promoters. We're not the first or the last. We're all on a team. And that is not something small. We're part of a great team of our Christian faith. Being witness to it. Not just saying the words, but putting them into action.